More dinosaurs. In time to change the player this time. Alright. The raptor is very simple. All you can do is just two, three different types of attacks. Jumping and running. That's it. So with that out of the way, what do you guys think of Grant's side of the playthrough? That ending was a bit funny. Yeah. Glad you kept the footage from it. That glitch. But, um, Grant... Seems a bit, uh... OP, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, I just still don't get why, how, why he can shoot a gun faster than, or I mean, like a dark gun faster than people shoot automatic weapons. But I'm or not gonna how, complain. Or how a candy bar heals you for more than what a grenade will deal damage for. Yeah, the Raptor here has been improved from the first game. In the first game, you couldn't really do this flip jump thing. Okay. All you could do is, well, just run, do some of the basic attacks I've already done, and you can do forward leaps, but that's about it. You don't get that super high spinny jump. Or at least I don't think you do. All I know is that um, this is an improvement. You can jump really, really high with it. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't think... Well, I don't know about that much. You wouldn't think a dinosaur would be able to do that, but... Hmm, well, you learn something new every day. You never know if they can do this, because they've been extinct for many, many years. True. For all we, for all we know, they could become instant death things that kill you when they touch your tail by one pixel when they're on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> like, see? That box is broke when I got near it. And that thing just died when I jumped into it. Wait, uh, do you still eat candy bars? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is one resourceful raptor. <laughs> By the way, those <laughs> butterflies explode when they're killed. Wait, what? <laughs> that thing that blew up when I jumped um, was a butterfly. Same thing when you shoot it with Grant, it explodes for some unexplained reason. <laughs> They're mechanical butterflies. Butterflies. <laughs> yeah, I think Butter I think I think the Raptor's most effective attack by far is his double jump. Okay then. Oh, what was what was this? I can't believe I left that in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the raptor can jump two different- or I mean, can run in two different ways. The first way that I've been doing, because I didn't realize I could do it the other way, was double tapping. Turns out you can just hold up on the d-pad. Oh. It's much easier. Holding up also lets you jump like twice as high as well. <laughs> well then... Chomp, chomp. Yeah, um, if you time it right, you will kill something. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, I'm just taking a stroll. Jumping so, into uh, helicopters. What are those things that, that you're collecting? Those are... You know, I don't know the actual term, but they're the equivalents of, like, some explosive drug or whatever. Or chemical. <laughs> and and when you eat enough of them, people and stuff die on contact. So it's a Starman. <laughs> well, the Starman wouldn't let boxes break too. Uh oh. But basically everything you touch dies in one hit. What? Well, except for one. 
I don't know why you're still collector collecting species to save when you're a ra raptor, though. <laughs> I also don't know how this thing can eat those. Th those containers are bigger than its head. Yeah, so I imagine it would have a really hard time swallowing them. Yeah. Oh, I see it now. It's it's like the ammo bar. For Grant, instead of going down, it goes up for each thing that you eat. Yeah. I like being in this mode because the, the annoying boxes that are in the way will not stop because they'll break when you touch them. Okay. It's really annoying when you keep breaking your pace and you have to- Oh, that was so dumb. You just bounce a grenade off a wall. But yeah, it's really dumb when you have to suddenly stop because you've run into a box that you had no way of knowing was there. And thanks to these stupid- Well, why are, why are they in trees in the first place? And Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm so worried about dying here. It's so much it's so much easier to die as a raptor because you have to fight at close range. Right. I had no idea if there was any health here or not, so I just kept going. And I was like, oh, there's one. Okay, sweet. Yeah, um, you, you know the world is um, is saved when raptors die if they can take down helicopters. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see a raptor fight a helicopter in 3D. Because, like, that would be quite a sight to behold. This thing just jumped, like, a hundred feet in the air to knock it out of the sky. So, can you pull off any glitches with the raptor? I haven't really found any with the raptor. In turn, at least what I would call a glitch anyways. You could call the raptor more stable, but... Well, I, I guess if you want to consider this a glitch, look at look at look at those vines. They're ju they're just being suspended by nothing because they're not expecting to go that high. But that's really more of a graphical quirk rather than an actual glitch. I'd say. Yeah, and notice how my life count is suddenly down by two. I hate playing as the raptor here. Little jump cuts it. Yeah. Cause yeah, like I had trouble playing as the raptor because just my method of attacking involves going up to people who can shoot me at least once before I hit them. I mean, like, to the new player, the raptor's easier, but once you get the hang of it, Grant is much better. That and the levels are more fun. <laughs> so you can't deny it's awesome just kicking people in mid-air with a raptor karate kick. Raptor kick! Raptor boost. Falcon kick. <laughs> too, too bad my arms are short or I'd give you a falcon punch. <laughs> You know, I wasn't even doing anything to it. He just died as soon as I ate that thing. <laughs> so good. Yeah, and this is one of the main reasons some people might have more fun with the raptor. Because when you eat chemicals, everything you touch dies. Uh, yeah, it totally makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, that's a weird animation there. I, 
I, I, I'd like to know what that thing is. What kind of thing turns golden when you hit it? I have no idea. <laughs> it's a good raptor sound effect, though. No, those pebbles, or...? Those look like smokes water. Oh. Yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I died three more times here. Yeah, um, what was that? He was just driving on the rocks. <laughs> that was fun times. Yeah, this one was a lot harder with the raptor. Yeah. Yeah, there's, um... You have to follow the specific path. A very specific path, because you can get lost. Look how much damage that thing did to me when I touched it. Oh boy. That is why I died so many times here. Because of that stupid thing. It was like, it's just ca swimming, casually swimming by, minding its own business, and then I touch its side and I die. Now I have help. I don't care. If I touch its side, it shouldn't kill me. I can understand if I hit its horns or whatever, but if I touch its side or tail or whatever, that shouldn't even hurt me. I'm gonna think of it. This thing is swimming and minding its own business, so why is it hurting me when I touch it anyway? Yeah. I guess, I guess, um... I don't know. <laughs> Salvation! If I didn't touch that before I landed, I would have died there. Right. Because, <laughs> like, death doesn't register until you touch the ground. Wait, really? Yeah. Okay. So if you die, but you touch a healing item before you touch the ground, you're safe. Huh. Not that you can really test this or anything, because if you're next to a healing item, chances are you will have grabbed it first thing. I kind of got lost here. Until I saw that sign, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, from here, I think I get lost one more time, but it's just to go down in general and we'll get to where you need to get to. So I just wanted to get get it off the screen before it started to try and ram me. That would have really sucked if it did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, what? That guy went behind the pipe, but his boat went in front of the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> So should I add that and that to the glitch count? I just went through that pipe <laughs> and then just clipped onto it because of physics. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just realized that um, if, you ca if you count the uh, second part of Raptor Runs for the Grand, the Raptor technically has one less level. Oh, yay. Because, like, Raptor Rapids, there's the Raptor Rapids part and then the uh, T-Rex part. Right. The Raptor doesn't have anything like that. He just... one big cargo ship. Yeah, going Rampage makes us so much faster. I'm just skipping everything now. <laughs> because everything just blows up. Yeah, I won't. I won't complain about that if if it speeds up my progress. 
I hated slipping through here as a raptor. Looks too big for you to go through there. Well, it's easier if you go underneath. Although I didn't learn that till I was like halfway through. Okay. I'd like oh, to know yes. what this what this thing is in the first place. Because if that's if that's supposed to be the ship's engine, then wouldn't blowing it up be detrimental? <laughs> but but why would a ship's engine try to like kill you? I don't know. Why would Grant try to get on a ship in the first place? I don't understand why he was in the aviary or why he was in the savannah or why he was suddenly on a cargo ship. Then some mystic ruins, and then, oh wait, let's see, oh, let's go to Raptor Rapids. And then we go back to a different cargo ship that we didn't sink. Now, where's the rhyme or reason in that? Same thing there for this guy. Not. Same thing for the Raptor, except you don't go to Raptor Rapids. I can understand this last one, because this one actually makes sense. You're going on the ship to escape to the mainland. <laughs> Although, I, that doesn't explain all the previous levels he went through. And it doesn't explain all the dinosaurs on, that are trying to kill you as well. Yeah, that's a good question. Why are there other dinosaurs on a cargo ship? Now, here's the one thing immune to your rampage. Well, not immune, but it doesn't instantly die from it. Okay. This raptor does not know how to hold up, and because of that, it means that he can't jump as high as you. Which means that you can escape, or do you have to kill it? It means I can do this, and he can't do anything to me because he doesn't jump high enough. But yeah, there's an easy way to kill this thing. All you have to do is just wait, let, let him jump, and then you jump into him as he falls and repeat. Doing that will prevent him from hitting you, and you can hit him. It's a really easy way to kill him. Some so people recommend doing like some this. other trick. Yeah, uh, um, a, a, an experimental raptor is in your way. Although I think you could probably just skip him and go over here. I've never really tried. <laughs> Okay, this thing makes even less sense. There's like idle animation, but that's it. So where the heck is a raptor? I'm expecting to see some silhouette. In the uh, first game, there was a much better ending. Like you see the raptor hiding in a box, getting loaded onto a cargo ship. But here, you just get this animated picture. If you can call it that. Oh. Weird. What's all this empty space at the end? <laughs> I don't know. Is it empty or is there more? It's empty. It's, yeah, it's all empty. <laughs> What's that doing there? <laughs> 